in the last lecture we have seen um, the definition of uh, stochastic integration with respect to a square integrable continuous smart angle uh, where integrand is chosen from the class of progressively measurable processes L star we denote it in this way and then we have uh, proved that stochastic integration uh, is an isometry from the space of uh, L star uh, okay uh, from the space of uh, progressive measurable pro processes and the space of square integrable continuous martingale. So, this is that uh, equality which uh, says that okay, they are uh, I, I mean this uh, i is an asymmetry. Next, we uh, uh, consider x and m okay, uh, x is from L star m and m is continuous square integrable martingale. And then we know that if one has an adapted process which is right continuous or left continuous, then that adapted process becomes also progressively measurable okay? and x is anyway progressively measurable. So, x and m both are progressively measurable and therefore, if we uh, consider the quadratic variation of m that would also be progressively measurable and then if we uh, consider this integration this is not a stochastic integration this is integration with respect to quadratic variation of m since m is progressively measurable the quadratic variation of m is also progressively measurable and therefore this integration is to t x u square d m u is ft measurable okay so we have that this integration is ft measurable okay where ft is the sigma algebra at time t okay so ft is the, the sigma algebra at time t okay so now we consider this uh, conditional expectation of square of integration okay square of the integration at time t so you can think that t is future s is the present okay so conditional expectation of square of the future uh, integration uh, from 0 to the future t given the information till from 0 to s okay so that what we do we just add and subtract i s first okay so for the integration s uh, till s okay uh, i s x uh, subtract and add and then that is equal to so we are just using the a plus b whole square formula we have i t minus i s whole square plus 2 times i s into i t minus i s plus i s whole square okay here um, this you know condition is on sigma algebra f s so the integration i s is f s measurable as i have uh, indicated above due to this reason that we know that uh, uh, this i s is f s measurable so conditional expectation of i s square x given f s is i s square itself and here when we have the product two times this i s into i t minus i x uh, i t minus i s so i can take i s outside of the integration because uh, the condition is given with respect to sigma algebra f s now here we realize uh, we are uh, going to uh, apply the martingale property of the stochastic integration since i t is a martingale so con con conditional expectation i t given f s is i s and i s i s you know they subtract then you get 0 so 0 multiplied with this so that would contribute nothing okay that would be 0 here can we prove ix is multiple uh, that we have actually defined stochastic integral as a map from l star to m to c so since stochastic integral is you know the 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 image of uh, uh, the uh, the progressive measurable integrand under integration is a square integral continuous martingale so integration is a martingale here is coming from the definition okay so here we uh, come back again so now this i t x minus i s whole square this given f s this term appears and this term from the earlier result we know that this uh, this conditional expectation is equal to uh, this uh, the 
is equal to expectation of integration small s to t x zero square d quadratic variation m u given f s. So, let us go back to that result where we have proved already. So, this is the result correct. This is the result we have already proved earlier. So, we are using this result here. Okay. So, now, uh, now we uh, subtract both side uh, by this integration 0 to t x u square d m u okay, given f s. So, x, so, that thing we subtract from both sides. So, right hand side I have integration from s to t, okay, but I am subtracting from 0 to t both sides. Okay. So, anyway, so let us write down say s to t is there, but I am subtracting from 0 to t. So, I would get minus sign 0 to s would remain correct because in 0 to t I can write down this integration 0 to s and s to t. This s to t integration would cancel this, okay, but uh, 0 to s would remain with a second negative sign. So, I would get all on the right hand, uh, right hand side this quantity, okay, and i s x square was already present. So, this is here, okay. So, conditional expectation, expectation of i t x whole square minus integration 0 to t x u square um, integration with respect to quadratic variation m given f s is equal to exactly what is there inside the integration instead of t you are writing s here. And if I now consider this whole thing that uh, this random variable, I mean this random process with respect to time t as a y. Okay, so y t. So then uh, let uh, let me read what is written here. Conditional expectation of y t given f s is equal to y s. Okay, so that is the criteria for Martingale. Okay, and anyway, so this uh, quantity has a finite expectation also. So because i is of L2 is the square integral Martingale. So, square is finite expectation, this is finite expectation. So, it satisfies the property of Martingale. Therefore, this whole thing inside is a Martingale as a function of t, okay, as a, as a function of t, this process, okay. I have i t, I have i s, a 0 to t, a 0 to s, okay. So, we uh, name this as star and we are going to use it later. On the other hand, this quadratic variation of i x that I have not discussed earlier. I have discussed the definition of quadratic variation. Now, uh, that we have defined for square integral Martingales and here i x is stochastic integration of x with respect to square integral Martingale. However, i x itself is also a square integral Martingale, continuous square integral Martingale. So, I can talk about its uh, quadratic variation also. So, if I talk about quadratic variation of i x, what is it? It is that it is defined to be the process, the increasing uh, natural process A, which appears in the uh, Dubsmeyer decomposition of i x square, correct? Of the i x square. So, if i x square is written as m bar t, a new Martingale, okay, plus a t, okay, but, uh, that is the result of the Dubsmeyer decomposition where A is chosen to be a natural process, then it is a unique uh, uh, decomposition and then this a t is the quadratic variation of i x. Okay. So, then a t is exactly this. So, let us uh, see that. So, now if I subtract a t from both sides, so I get i t square minus a t and then, then we take expectation. Then right hand side, okay, given f s. Uh, so, this is uh, missing. So, I should have written conscious expectation of this given f s is equal to expectation of m bar t given f s. Okay. But that is uh, that is m s a m bar s and m bar s from this definition is i s square minus a s. Okay. So, I again have that constant expectation of this given f s is i s square minus a s. Now, we can compare this thing with this star. Here also have i s i, I t square minus something okay, and this thing. Okay. So, we have such a is unique adapted natural increasing process with a 0 is equal to 0. So, now by comparing we obtain that this process a t is exactly equal to this process. So, this is a t. Okay. So, we have identified what is a t. Okay. So, a t is this or in other words a t is nothing but the quadratic variation. So, we have obtained the expression of the quadratic variation of the stochastic integral. So, uh, quadratic variation of the stochastic integral is obtained by 
just taking the square of the integrand and, and integrating that with respect to the quadratic variation of the martingale. So, what you obtain is the quadratic variation of the stochastic integral. Now, we summarize whatever we have uh, discussed uh, till now. So, here uh, given a, a stochastic process X which is progressively measurable, this is the class of the progressively measurable processes. We have shown that there exists a sequence of simple processes we call Xn which converges to uh, the progressive measurable process X in the box norm. Okay? And then for each and every Xn which is a simple process, we can define a stochastic integral in a very intuitive manner okay? because simple process has only you know um, like on, on some time interval it has some bounded uh, adapted uh, value and then for that the integration has a very natural meaning. We define some integration of Xn in that fashion and then this integration okay, becomes again a square integral continuous martingale and then we have shown that okay, these integrals okay, as Xn converges to X this integral also converges converges somewhere okay we call name this as ix okay it converges somewhere in mc2 how do you do that we actually show that okay, since xn converges xn is cauchy and since i is uh, an isometry so ixn is also cauchy in this you know parallel norm in mc2 and then with the limiting uh, process what we obtain we call that as the uh, stochastic integration of x. For to call that as a stochastic integration of x, uh, we had to uh, clarify that uh, this limit does not depend on the choice of xn okay? and that we have justified and that is how you know, we have obtained this uh, integration, okay? integration of x. So, that was the summary of uh, definition of uh, stochastic integration of x with respect to a square integral continuous martingale. Now, we list here some important properties, some of which we have already proved, some of which we are just mentioning here. So, for x uh, in uh, L star n, that means progressively measurable process, the ix is defined as above, is called stochastic integral, and then this satisfies um, uh, the, these, uh, these uh, properties that for at time 0, i0 is, is equal to 0. Conditional expectation of it given fs is is almost surely with probability p. Third property is that the it square, the square of the integrals and expectation of that is expectation of um, expectation of integration of the square of the integrand with respect to the quadratic variation. Uh, next is that no, uh, the parallel norm of ix is same as box norm of x the isometry okay isometry property next is uh, so here we talked about expectation after taking expectation we get this but without expectation what is it so expect so without expectation so integration 0 to t x u square dmu so this is just a random variable for a fixed time t and if you vary t it is a stochastic process so this stochastic process is nothing but the quadratic variation of ix okay and then also you know, this property uh, actually, this property was used to prove five, fifth one that uh, difference the quadrat the conditional expectation of the uh, square of the difference of the integration is equal to ex conditional expectation of integration of uh, the x square dmu. And then uh, this is a property which we have used earlier also, but we have never mentioned explicitly that uh, stochastic integration is a linear operator i of alpha x plus beta y is equal to alpha i x plus beta i y for any alpha beta in real. Okay. So, next we talk about what do we mean by quadratic variation. So, let x uh, is a stochastic process x t, t is from 0 to infinity and y is also another stochastic process both are adapted and, uh, uh, and both are square integrable continuous martingale. Okay. Then there exists up to indistinguishability on ft adapted continuous bounded variation process A with A0 is equal to 0 such that xy minus A is ft martingale. Okay? 
So remember what we have done earlier, we had uh, x and y both same there, correct? x square minus a was f to mark, okay? So that thing was the uh, definition of quadratic variation. But here we have two different process, we uh, take a product of two processes. So x t into y t uh, for all t, so that is x y. So this x y minus a is f t mark angle and then this a is uh, we are going to call this a as uh, quadratic covariation of x and y okay quadratic covariation of x and y what is this this you can actually also uh, uh, get in this for following formula this is uh, one fourth of x plus y t quadrivation of x plus y minus uh, quadrivation of x minus y Okay, if you subtract these two quadrant variation, you also get this. Okay, so the one can obtain this way, or one can also obtain this way. Both are same. So that is a result. We are not proving this result; we are just stating this result. Okay. Next, uh, we uh, here quote some other properties of stochastic integral. Okay, so uh, these are these properties are. Uh, the uh, the behavior of the integral with respect to the stopping time okay so optional uh, sampling uh, theorem these are called okay so let m is square integral contrast smart angle and s and t are two f t uh, so this script f okay this is the filtration s and t are two f t uh, stopping time stopping with respect to ft as uh, uh, filtration such that s is less than or equals to t almost surely okay then for any t positive if i take i t mean small t minimum capital t that means that this stochastic process i okay i x i would integrate from 0 to small t minimum capital t okay so what does it mean it means that um, you for some certain omega if uh, t omega is uh, uh, i mean if t omega is uh, less than small t then the process ix whatever it is i would just obtain uh, its value at t omega but if its value if t omega's value is more than t then i would just uh, observe the value of it okay so that is the meaning so here uh, the meaning of this uh, one should understand that uh, first I have the stochastic process defined. It is not that okay for every omega I am def obtaining t uh, capital T omega and then I obtain that interval and that on that interval I am now integrating. No, one cannot do that. Why cannot one do that? Because uh, we have the way we have defined stochastic integration, we can we cannot define it for each and every omega okay what are the value we have not defined that way we have defined integration as a process okay which is the limit of some other processes so one first obtain the stochastic process okay the, the stochastic integral and after obtaining the stochastic integral then we are putting this you know small t minimum uh, capital t omega there is a way to understand this uh, uh, this symbol then conditional expectation of Stochastic uh, the i small t minimum capital T of x given f s is equal to capital I of t minimum capital S of x, okay, almost surely with p. So, this um, looks like you know Martingale property, correct. Right? However, here you have capital T at capital S are uh, stopping times, okay. Next, uh, ex uh, conditional expectation of this uh, the product of these two differences, what is this? that i small t minimum capital T of x minus i t small minimum capital S of x. So, this you can view as an increment, correct? You have a stopping time S and you have stopping time capital T. S is always less than or equal to capital T. And then the, during this time interval, what is the increment of the stochastic process, okay? During these two time, what is the increment of the stochastic integral? When the integral, uh, where, where the x is the integrand of the integral. And you can also consider similar increment of stochastic integral where capital Y is the integrand. Okay? So, now the increment of the stochastic integral of x and increment of the stochastic integral of y 
if you pro take product of that and you uh, take conditional expectation of the product given fs okay then what you obtain is that is uh, conditional expectation of x into y d m I mean this quadratic variation of m given fs okay so so this thing is actually uh, more general than the one we are which we have obtained earlier earlier we had uh, say here uh, uh, he, here we had uh, deterministic s and t and x and y were all same so we had x square here correct where x square here okay so uh, next we uh, go to this uh, another property condition uh, th this is the stress integration of uh, t minimum capital T of x so that is i t of x tilde okay so uh, wh what is x tilde here so the main purpose here is that in the stress integral uh, that uh, lower limit was zero of course that upper limit was t minimum capital t so upper limit was a random variable okay and then the upper limit and that you can write down as one integration where uh, upper limit is the deterministic small t okay but by changing the integrand uh, how, how are you changing the integrand your integrand is x tilde here new integrand which is uh, x time indicator function of uh, small t and uh, this indicator function of the set 0 to capital t omega okay so if you do consider this as integrand then uh, you integrate it with respect to m and then you are going to get exactly the same value here this is intuitive result but um, this result also needs a proof uh, we are not going to see the proof but uh, we are quoting it because we might need these results uh, in, in in our um, uh, following uh, uh, course okay following topics okay so next <coughs> we uh, here quote another result this is a very important result so i prefer to give a proof of this result the proof is also not uh, very long so the result says that okay if m is a square root equal continuous smarting goal such that the quadratic variation of m is zero zero means identically zero okay so it stays zero because quadratic variation is a process at time t is equal to 0 it was of course 0 but then it moves correct and it is never decreasing correct it uh, moves it uh, is a non decreasing process but if your aim is such that the quadratic variation remains 0 all the time then one can conclude that m is equal to 0 then it is uh, this is a zero martingale uh, in general if one so here uh, let me clarify one thing that our notation is such that when uh, we say m is mc2 square root equal contrast smarting uh, that is not the complete description this uh, symbol has another more condition which i do not uh, say every time explicitly that is starting from zero okay that is there inside that okay otherwise if you have a m as a stochastic uh, as a martingale and you add one particular finite constant there that also becomes another martingale okay and then uh, that martingale would have the same quadrivation of m so if m has quadrivation zero that mart would also have quadrivation zero however that uh, m is just constant okay so you can say that that is just constant it's not zero but here we are getting zero because of the definition of mc2 okay so let us uh, uh, see the proof that uh, quadratic variation of m is zero okay and uh, and we know that mt square is uh, also a martingale why is it so because uh, quadratic variation m is uh, the increasing process in the Dubmere decomposition of mt square so mt square Dubmere decomposition you have uh, this is equal to some martingale part plus increasing but increasing part is zero so therefore uh, so uh, mt square itself is a martingale now expectation of mt square minus m0 whole square you can write down the square as a square minus 2ab plus b square form and then you would obtain that um, mt square is a martingale so expectation of mt square given m0 is m0 itself so you get m0 square minus 2 m0 whole square plus m0 square here cancels uh, everything cancels and you get 0 here so for all t mt is equal to m0 and that is 0 okay the inferior leaf condition 
uh, that um, under the condition that uh, AME is a continuous quantum of Martin angle. If it is a continuous quantum of Martin angle, then uh, the coordination is 0 implies AME is equal to 0 and uh, other side is uh, trivial. If it is 0, then it is coordination is 0. Okay? So, this side is actually point. I mean the reverse side is trivial because m is 0 then coordination is 0, but uh, which which norm? Uh, ha, okay. So, basically uh, that is a good point actually one can uh, uh, one can actually uh, uh, take this quadratic variation as norm like correct. Uh, and then one can uh, this is an L2 space, okay. One can make an L2 space with that norm actually, and the quadratic, co quadratic covariation would be inner product uh, kind of things, okay. So, in that pro appropriate space, okay. And now, okay, so now let me clarify another thing that if we have a function which is a continuous function, uh, then for that continuous function. So, if you have a continuous function okay, and if that for the continuous function the quadratic variation is uh, non-zero that implies that its total variation is infinity right that is the result. Okay. So, if the quadratic variation is non-zero positive then the total variation is infinity and that means that uh, for square into for square integral continuous martingale if you take any finite interval say 0 to 1 and then you look at the uh, look at any particular path whatever the path you choose okay and then you find its total variation you would observe the total variation is infinity with probability 1 if uh, i mean that martingale is not trivial if you see that quad that uh, if you uh, see that okay you don't uh, i mean the quad the total variation is not infinity uh, that is the only case when the martingale is just a constant martingale okay it does not change at all that means that when martingale changes okay, it's not a, not a, a trivial one then it fluctuates too lot fluctuates a, a lot okay its total variation, variation is infinity with probability 1 now we consider uh, two different uh, square integral continuous smart angles m and n and we check uh, we, we consider x and y two different progressively measurable processes and we denote uh, i mean this you know it this is just a notation which i have also introduced earlier so it i'm re-emphasizing that uh, uh, the reason is that in the earlier notations i have written it of x i have not written you know in the, in the superscript anything but i am writing it because sometimes when we are integrating with this two different martingles in the same context in the same you know same discussion to distinguish between uh, these two integrals okay so uh, so one has to specify the integrands so uh, so we actually write this is very you know uh, standard notation this notation you know newtonian notation actually integration 0 to t x s d m s integration 0 to t y s d n s okay we also write down this way okay that integration with respect to uh, uh, n martingale and it is integration with respect to m martingale okay so then uh, we have this kunita watanabe uh, inequality this kunita watanabe inequality says that if i uh, consider this zyber what is zyber zyber is a total variation process of xi okay where where xi is the the quadratic covariation of m and n okay quadratic covariation of m and n is actually a boundary variation process so total variation of xi on interval 0 to s would be a finite number uh, with probability 1 and that we call the xi bar of s and if we integrate this mod of x s y s with respect to xi bar of s so there it is interesting correct right? because here integrand is also a product an integrator is also coming from both m and n correct one can ask that okay can we have any relation okay uh, with respect to the integration of x with respect to m and y with respect to n yes there is a relation so one has this inequality that this you know this uh, sounds like a cautious words inequality type of things correct so integration 0 to t x square dms to the power of half into a 0 to t y square dns to the power of half okay 
Next, assume that you have a sequence Xn which is uh, progressively measurable L star, okay, such that for some capital T, we have a limit n tends to infinity 0 to capital T, X, Xn minus X whole square. So, uh, dmu is equal to 0, this limit goes to 0, okay, in, in this norm, okay. So, with probability, uh, with probability 1. So, if we have such sequence Xn and we have uh, 1 X in also in L star n such that they are uh, square of the difference and the square the integration of that with respect to quadrivation of m that limit goes to 0, then we can actually uh, pass the limit inside. Uh, what is that? The limit n tends to infinity of integration of x n and n, okay, quadratic, quadratic variation of integration of x n with respect to m and the martingale n here. Okay. Uh, that quadratic variation, if I uh, pass to the limit n tends to infinity, that converges to i m of x n where you know this x is the limit of x n in this sense. Okay. This is actually the sense of the box, correct? The, uh, this is same as uh, uh, the, the, the box norm, correct? Okay. <coughs> so, your quality covariance is symmetric? Qua yes, quadrification is uh, symmetric. Uh, from the definition, it is symmetric, okay? From the polar identity, correct? Uh, uh, so, when I have obtained this, the polar identity, okay? So, here x plus y, but x minus y is there. Um, hmm. When I have, when I write down y minus x here, um, but then in the definition of quadratic variation, it is uh, the quadrivision x minus y and, x and y minus is the same. Why? Because quadrivision x minus y is the Duesman decomposition of x minus y whole square. So, x minus y whole square is same as y minus x whole square. So, so that is the reason, okay. Okay, uh, so we were discussing this. Uh, then, uh, so we have already discussed uh, uh, this uh, second point. The third point is that uh, quad, the quadratic variation of integration of x with this m and the martingale n is same as integration of x with respect, with respect to the quadratic variation of m and n. Okay. So, this is also one interesting. So these are intuitive result and it seems that okay, you are x d, you know, uh, I mean d m was there and n was there and then you are getting it. So, one can also write down this, you know, uh, intuitive manner like, you know, quadratic variation of m n and d, uh, basically d m n, one can think that d m into d n. Okay. Actually, the uh, uh, researchers who work in uh, geometrical side of stochastic processes, so these uh, stochastic geometers, they actually prefer to use that notation dm into dn. Okay. So, here it is like you know x uh, integration of x dm and here you have n and the quadratic variation. So, this, this is integration of 0 to t of d of this thing. So, integration d of uh, i x is x dm and dn. So, that is x dm into dn. Okay. So, that intuitive uh, algebra holds here. And now, if you have uh, the quadratic variation of i m x i n y, okay, and that is also the integration 0 to t x y x into y into quadratic variation of m n. Okay. So, uh, yes, so that is the uh, last slide. So, what I was trying to say, let me write down here because I do not have board here. So, let us uh, let us uh, uh, write down um, uh, what I was trying to indicate here, uh, the left hand side. So, left hand side is uh, i of x, i of, so here m, here n, y, t. So, this thing is equal to integration 0 to t d i m x i n y uh, s 
and right hand side was 0 to t integration 0 to t x s y s d m n u correct so m n s okay so here m n s okay so in that last line of the slide we had the, these two integrals are equal okay so in other words we have d i m x i n y okay s is equal to x s y s d m n s okay for all s greater equals to 0. Now, if you use the notation that quadratic variation d m n is d m into d n okay allow me to use that notation to see that what is there. So, d i m x into d i n y is equal to x s y s d m d n okay however i m x is integration for of 0 to t of more process x with respect to d m okay so here we are recollecting i m x uh, at time t is integration 0 to t of uh, x d m okay so now d of this okay of t is here you do not have integration in x d m t okay x d d t. So, here we can from the this uh, consideration we can write down this as x t d m t and here it is y t d n t okay and here what you have obtained is that sorry t is uh, I mean according to my notation here my running time is not t but s okay so s s s s so here we have obtained this t m s d n s so you understand that okay this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, a trivial identity okay so this is uh, the algebra one can obtain so okay, how this is the dm quadratic variation dm thing which one this one this quadratic variation so this is i am saying that if you allow me to write down this uh, quadratic variation of two processes as dm into dn then we get uh, this equal uh, this you know this identity which is you know which is uh, uh, trivially true okay so that also gives the justification that one can write uh, i mean one can think that quadrivation of two processes is nothing but dm into dn okay so this is also another reason that why some authors uh, use uh, this notation to you uh, to write down this okay some authors uh, write down dmn as dm into dn uh, this uh, notation is more popular among the stochastic geometers okay Okay, thank you very much.